Welcome to Issues in Japan. Masako returns to the forefront of imperial diplomacy. Three consecutive lectures from a close ally, diplomat. I would like tentatively to share the article contents of the magazine Jose Jishin dated March 30th. On March 17th, Princess Aiko held her first press conference. Twenty years ago, Masako, with her eyes moistening, spoke of her feelings at the time of the birth of her child. Aiko likened her feelings to those of Masako at the time of her birth, expressing her gratitude to her mother. Aiko said, I would like to tell my mother, thank you for bringing me into the world, just as Masako said, thank you for being born. During the 30-minute press conference, Aiko spoke almost without looking down at the manuscript. Her humor shone through as she spoke of her strengths, saying, if I had to say, I would say that I can sleep anywhere. Rika Kayama, a psychiatrist and professor at Rikkyo University, felt the bond between mother and child in the way she spoke at the press conference. I got the impression that Princess Aiko and Their Majesties the Emperor and Empress worked together to create this press conference. Her serious yet humorous manner of speaking must have been adapted from the style of the press conferences of the Emperor and Empress Masako. Masako has been raising Aiko as her top priority despite her own health condition. She accompanied Aiko to school despite the criticism. I believe that Masako must have felt a sense of accomplishment. Or perhaps a feeling that her efforts to date have been rewarded when she saw the magnificent press conference. Having reached a milestone as a mother, I hope that Masako will now engage in life work that will allow her to show more of her own personality. A source at the Imperial Household Agency tells us that Masako has already begun working on her own activities behind the scenes. In fact, Masako is making preparations to be at the forefront of imperial diplomacy. Masako has been receiving lectures from a person well versed in overseas affairs, including the situation in Ukraine. On March 15, Their Majesties the Emperor and Empress received a lecture from Mr. Okano, Director General of the Foreign Policy Bureau of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. According to an Imperial Household Agency official, Mr. Okano has served as director of the Russia Division of the European Bureau and is well versed in international law. He is an expert on the situation in Ukraine. Moreover, he has a close relationship with Empress Masako. He joined the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in 1987, the same year as Masako. He also has close acquaintance with Masako's father, Mr. Hisashi Iwata, former administrative vice foreign minister. Mr. Okano was the editor-in-chief of a collection of essays published last year to commemorate Mr. Hisashi Iwata's retirement from the International Court of Justice. Masako relied on a man who could be called her ally. Russian troops had already been massing in the vicinity of Ukraine since last fall, and tensions were rising. Their majesties met with Mr. O'Connor in November of last year and again in January of this year. The fact that Masako has received three consecutive lectures may indicate her interest in the situation in Ukraine and her willingness to engage in imperial diplomacy. The world is facing a mountain of problems, such as poverty, the growing number of refugees, and the large number of victims of terrorism. I feel that it is important in today's world for people to overcome their differences with a broad mind, join hands together, pool their wisdom, and work in a united effort to solve various problems. A reporter in charge of the Imperial Household said as follows. Masako has a strong desire for world peace. However, due to health problems, she has not been able to work on it as much as she would like for more than 10 years. Even after becoming empress, she was prevented from visiting foreign countries by the COVID-19 pandemic. Even under such circumstances, Masako has continued to study and gather information on world affairs. This is because of her strong desire to stand at the forefront of peace diplomacy.
Masako is determined to make the most of her career and contribute to world peace as much as possible as the Empress of Japan. At her press conference, Princess Aiko also talked about the situation in Ukraine. She said, I am extremely distressed by the loss of so many precious lives within Ukraine. Although members of the imperial family are in a position where they must be cautious about making political statements, Princess Aiko nevertheless made her feelings clear. At his birthday press conference a month ago, His Majesty the Emperor said, Various tensions still exist between countries. But I hope that people to people exchanges will lead to a peaceful world where people recognize each other beyond national and regional boundaries. Princess Aiko quoted these words and stated, I feel the same way about this thought. Then, referring to her junior high school graduation essay in which she expressed her wish for world peace, she stated clearly, I still have a strong desire for peace. In an otherwise tense press conference, Princess Aiko made her appeal for peace in a dignified manner. Her resolute stance may have encouraged Masako, who is trying to be at the forefront of peace diplomacy. Thus says a reporter in charge of the imperial household. In a divided world, Masako may shine a light of hope. That's all for now. Thank you for your interest.